Thanks, Tyler. Blue skies behind her, but we're going to get some changes in the weather in the next 24 hours. Nothing like what happened here, though, in central Ohio 39 years ago. I'm sure you remember it well, Mark. <laughs> Storm Team 4 meteorologist Ben Gelber joining us now with a look at the blizzard of 1970. Colleen and I remember, although uh -huh. she had snow, I had rain in different parts in of Pennsylvania. Yeah. The other side, what an, an amazing storm. Imagine going to bed with light rain falling, a temperature 40 degrees, and of course, uh, forecast models weren't so precise back then. Waking up to thunder, lightning, and then blinding snow on the morning of January 26, 1978, everything frozen over with a blizzard raging, wind gusts to 69 miles an hour. Now, this is what Columbus looked like downtown, deserted, wind driven snow, shut down transportation across the entire state. Governor Rhodes called out 5,000 members of the Ohio Army National Guard to rescue trapped motorists, more than 10,000 stranded by the blizzard, 2,700 rescued by helicopter drifts 10 to 20 feet high, reached the second story of homes in northwestern portions of Ohio. Schools and businesses shut down. That picture, by the way, is from Marion. Nearly 200,000 lost power. The pressure of the storm equal to a Category 3 hurricane. A true storm of the century. Ohio History Connection, National Weather Service, helping to comp with me compile all these pictures. I went on Facebook today, and the memories are just flooding yeah. the uh, site. And that's and of course there weren't SUVs, so nurses and doctors had to get to school with Red Cross jeeps because you know how else could you get through that kind yeah, of stuff? It was incredible. I, as I said, I was in downtown Pittsburgh, living in a dorm at the time, and the, the entire city just shut down. And you could walk through the middle of the streets because there were no cars and. Very few people on the sidewalks. It was crazy. It just shows you how intense it was. And of course, and Dave's going to tell us about weather changes that are not quite as dramatic. <laughs>